energy it's a very familiar term and i'm sure you must have studied quite a lot about it from Einstein's equation of energy to the conservation of energy theorem to enthalpy to entropy and so on energy plays a big role in our day daily lives we know energy can be converted from one form to another and energy is conserved energy can be converted and it is conserved so what is the role of energy in our day-to-day -day life or in our daily lives How do you identify if there is an energy transfer or energy conversion? How do you convert energy? Or do we convert energy in daily, daily lives? Too many questions. Why do we need to study about energy? Why do we need to care about energy? Or is there any importance of saving energy? And what are the forms that you use and you see energy or you feel energy? Questions are too many. And I'm sure you may have, you may not have a clear understanding of even the questions. As you study energy, I'm not saying you will get answers to all these questions, rather you will get a better understanding of these questions itself and that may help you in finding answers to your questions on your own. So we said energy can be converted. So it implies that there are different forms of energy. Otherwise you cannot convert it. So what are the different forms of energy? Energy have two forms. Work and heat. And this can be converted between each other. Work can be converted to heat and heat can be converted to work. These are the two forms of energy. And then again, how you identify a work transfer or how you identify a heat transfer when you can say there is a work or heat transfer. In engineering terms, a work transfer ha happens when you push or pull a body, say of mass M, with a particular force, say 10 Newton, and the body moves along the force axis at a particular distance, say 5 meter. So the body moved from A to A, a dash on application of a force. And then work is force into distance. So force 10 Newton into distance moved 5 meter. So that's 50 Newton meter. That's about transfer here. So when you push or pull a body with a force and the body moves along the force axis at a particular distance, then you can say there is a work transfer. So what about heat transfer then? Suppose you have a, a steel rod or a, or a metal rod and you heat up one side of that a metal rod with a flame of say 400 degrees Celsius flame. You heat it up and say the, the, the metal rod was originally at 20 degrees Celsius and because of this addition of heat or addition of temperature the, the temperature of the rod at this end increases to say 250 degrees C and because there is an increase in temperature this this temperature gradually transfers to this end of the road and that end also is increased in temperature say to 180 degrees Celsius. So as a consequence of heating upon one side the other end also gets heated. So you can say there is a flow of temperature 
from the high temperature area to the low temperature area and that transfer of energy is called heat transfer naturally heat transfer always takes place from a high temperature area to a low temperature one it can never happen the reverse naturally so if there is heat transfer and work transfer how you measure them how you can use them in calculations how you can calculate the transfer rate of heat or transfer rate of work or uh, in in calculations so how you use the sign conventions of heat and work transfer suppose you have a system what is system then a system is anything where the study is concentrated so the area of study can be defined as a system if you study about an engine then that is your system if you study about a, a, a pump that is your system so when you study about a system and you input some work into the system that is considered as negative work and if the system produces some work and that gives us an output work that is positive work the case is reversed in case of heat a heat input is positive and a heat output is negative so if you study just one among the four you can study all the other work input to the system is negative therefore work output is positive work input is negative heat input is positive and heat input is positive so heat output is negative simple so you, you need to study only one you need to be clear about one and you can study all the other this sign convention is very important when you study or when you analyze energy work or heat so what is the importance of studying energy and we said initially we said energy is conserved if it is conserved are we saying there is no loss of energy at all no there is loss in energy the available energy is always decreasing so do we need to study about this how do we study what is the importance of this study and analysis of energy is that any is there any impact of energy on our daily lives we study all these in a subject called thermodynamics thermodynamics is a lovely subject again i'm not saying you will find all your answers regarding relating to energy in thermodynamics rather you will get a better understanding of your own questions and the study of thermodynamics will help you finding answers to your questions and we will study thermodynamics in detail from the next video onwards